Here's how you figure out how many ions are in K3PO4. This is potassium phosphate. So the first thing is that we have potassium, that's a metal, and then PO4. This is a group of nonmetals. It's a polyatomic ion. So we have our potassium, and then we have our polyatomic ion phosphate. So we have a metal and a nonmetal. We need to think about charges. Potassium is in group one on the periodic table. It has a one plus ionic charge. Each one of these has a one plus ionic charge. PO4, this is the phosphate ion. It's one you need to memorize. The whole thing has a charge of three minus. It's a polyatomic ion. So three times one plus is three plus. Then we have our three minus. Net charge is zero, just like we find in ionic compounds. To write the number of ions, we'll have three of those potassium ions, K plus, and we'll just have one phosphate ion, PO4, three minus. So we have a total of three plus one, four ions here in this potassium phosphate formula unit. So that's how you do it. We have three potassium ions, one phosphate ion. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.